The other one, in this video, we have how two semi-circles. Point A, point T, these are given as tangent point, and O is given as center of the big semicircle. Radius of the big semicircle is given two, and the question is what is the length of the X? Okay. First of all, if you connect point T and point O like this, not that this angle is opposite of the diameter. All right, so here must be equal 90 degrees. And then we know that here is 2 because of radius. And let's call here y. And this length I am going to call here m. After that, if you focus on here, let's call here angle alpha. If you notice that this arc must be equal to alpha, right? That means angle OAT is equal alpha, right? Next step, let's call here theta. If you focus on this triangle, this triangle have alpha theta. The third angle, I want to represent double line. After that, if you focus on the biggest triangle, the biggest triangle has same two angles, right? Alpha and theta. That means the third angle of the biggest triangle must be equal double line. So triangle BOT and triangle BTA are similar. Right? right. Therefore, if we start our calculation using this triangle, 2, which is opposite of the alpha, over y, which is opposite of the alpha, equal y, again, which is opposite of the double line, over 4 which is opposite of the double line, must be equal m, which is opposite of the theta, over x, which is opposite of the theta. Right? Therefore, if we use left-hand side of the equation, we get y squared equal a. So y is going to be 2 root 2. That's right here, 2 root 2. After that, if we use right-hand side of the equation, we get 2x root 2 equal 4n. If we simplify, that means x equal 2m over root 2. So x is going to be m root 2. Then, if you focus on triangle ATO, this triangle is a right triangle, so we can apply Pythagorean theorem. Right? So x squared plus m squared equal 2 squared. We know that x equal m root 2 whole squared plus m squared equal 4. So, 3m squared equal 4, that means m squared equal 4 over 3, so m is going to be 2 over root 3. Therefore, if you plug in this value to the equation, so x equal 2 over root 3 times root 2, that means x is going to be 2 root 6 over 3. Okay. This was the first method. Now we will calculate value of x using second method. First of all, let's call here point k as the center point of the small semicircle. And if we connect point k and point t like this, k 
here must be equal to 90 degrees because of tangent, right? And let's go here. Alpha here must be equal 108 minus alpha, right? These are radius, so these are one unit. Okay. Then, if you focus on this triangle, for this triangle, if we apply cosine rule, x squared equal 1 squared plus 1 squared minus 2 times 1 times 1 times cosine alpha. Next step, if you focus on this triangle, for this triangle, if we apply cosine 180 minus alpha, equal 1 over 3, right? We know that cosine 180 minus alpha equal minus cosine alpha, equal 1 over 3. That means cosine alpha equal 1 over 3. Therefore, if you plug in this value to the equation, instead of cosine alpha, so x squared equal 1 plus 1 plus 2 over 3. That means x squared equal 8 over 3. So, x equal 2 root 2 over root 3. That means x is going to be 2 root 6 over 3. Okay. Now, we will calculate the value of x using third methods. First of all, let's call here, point K again, as a center point of the small semicircle. And let's connect these two points. These are one unit, right? Because of radius. And here is 90 degrees because of tangent. And let's call here y. For this triangle, if we apply Pythagorean theorem, we get the value of y, right? So 1 squared plus y squared equal 3 squared. So 1 plus y squared equal 9. That means y squared equal 8. So y is going to be 2 root 2. That's so right here, 2 root 2. After that, if you focus on the biggest triangle, for the biggest triangle, we can apply Stewart's theorem. Right? According to Stewart's theorem, square of this length, 1 squared equal square of this length times this part. So 2 root 2 whole squared times 1 plus square of this length times this part. So x squared times 3 over some of these two parts, 1 plus 3, minus product of these two parts, 1 times 3. Then, if we move these terms left-hand side of the equation, 1 plus 3 times 4 equal 8 plus 3x squared. So, 8 equal 3x squared. That means x squared equal 8 over 3. So x is going to be 2 root 6 over 3. Thanks for watching. If you want more videos like this, please don't forget to like and subscribe my channel. Take care and bye bye.